Hello and a very warm welcome to highlights of the semi-final second leg between the home team Ashton Arland Kazakhstan and the visitors Russian boxing team. And the home team, well, they did a terrific job in the second semi-final first leg, clean sweeping the Russians to the tune of five bouts to nil, meaning that they had to win only one to secure their place in their third World Series boxing final. Russia, meanwhile, they knew that they had to win every single bout just to force a sudden death box off. And in the 52 kilogram flyweight division, they were represented by Karen Arochunyan, the 26 ranked flyweight in World Series boxing. And he took on the WSB number seven, Olzas Satibayev. Hugely competitive encounter this one. Both boxers having their moments of success, particularly in the second round, Arochunyan was successful with head movement and a double jab before moving in with the right hand. But as the contest progressed, it was Satibayev whose superior movement and pinpoint punch picking was enough to secure him victory. He had his hand raised for his second win of this season five campaign, and it confirmed the home team, Astana Arlands, Kazakhstan, as three-time finalists here in season five. So a dead rubber as far as the Russian team were concerned. No prospect of them making it through to the final. They'll be eliminated at the semi-final stage. It was, but there was plenty of pride at stake. In the lightweight division, the home team were represented by Sakia Safiulin. Whereas the Russians were represented by Arta Subkarnikov, competing in his third bout this World Series boxing campaign. But Safiulin controlled things wonderfully from long range. So Kankilov had his moments, particularly when he was able to move in behind a southpaw jab. But overall, over the duration of five three-minute rounds, the more eye-catching work came from Safiulin. He got rounds in the tank early, and despite a spirited late charge by Sukankilov, he was 2-0. Safiulin having his hands raised as the victor in the 60-kilogram lightweight bout. In the welterweight division, there was a late change for the home team. As Kazakhstan Astana Arlands and stepping into the ring was the number one Aiba ranked boxer in the world, Daniel Yelusinov. He faced the Russian debutant Yagub Nuriev wearing white trunks trimmed with black. But you would never know that it was Nuriev's World Series boxing debut. He fought a spirited contest, taking it to the reigning world championship gold medalist and the two-time Aiba boxer of the year, and increasingly drawing Yelusinov into a toe-to-toe -to -toe brawl in what proved to be a really attritional encounter. You loosen off his superior boxing, enough to get him the nod in the end. And he won by the slimmest of margins. It was a majority decision over the debutante from Russia who comes away with a moral victory, but three bouts completed and three have gone in favor of the home team, eight nil on aggregate with two bouts to go in the semi-final second leg. It was another debutante making his appearance, this time for the home team, the Kazakhstan Astana Arlands. Nadolet Zharmanov took on Edward Yakushev, who was competing in his second outing this season. And this was a really physical and increasingly ugly encounter. Early on in the contest, it was sharp shooting punches from Zharmanov that appeared to have the edge. But as the contest progressed, the marauding strength of Yakushev was enough to tilt the balance in his favor. He took the victory, his second of the season, and that was Russia's first win of the night. Nine bouts completed. They were trailing by 8-1. Something of a moral victory for them. So that left just the super heavyweight bout. And it was Ruslan Shamalov, the debutante for Russia, who ran into a ruinous right hand from Ivan Dichko, the reigning world championship bronze medalist and Olympic bronze medalist as well. That shot came in the second round, and it was all she wrote for Shamalov. Inauspicious debut for him, but a crowning glory for the home team, Aston Rarlands, Kazakhstan. Dichko, a second round knockout winner. The stoppage coming at the 128 mark, leading to a ticker tape parade and celebrations for the Aston Rarlands through to their third final.